All right, folks, thank you for coming this evening. It is uh, 7.32. We are called to order. Please rise and pledge the flag. Thank you, everyone. And uh, Angela, roll call, please. Saba Al Zayed. Here. Amy High. Here. Team Spee. Here. Megan Nolan. Here. Diane Gundrum. Here. Tony Heil. Here. Kyle Shank. Here. Mr. President, I note for the record we were in executive session from approximately 7 to approximately 7 30. Thank you, Mr. Bellow. And uh, oh, Mr. Truman, take it away. All right, good evening, everybody. First up for council consideration, adoption of the February 14th, 2023 meeting minutes. I'll make the motion. Second. Motion from Mr. Heil, second by Ms. Nolan to adopt the February 14 meeting minutes. Questions or comments from council or the public? See all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right, that is unanimous, thank you. All right, thank you. And uh, next up, uh, we have a zoning hearing for the consideration of Ordinance 2023 1, amending Chapter 560, uh, Attachment 2, uh, within zoning, the table of permitted uses in the neighborhood commercial district. And I believe that we should first uh, have a vote to suspend the regular uh, proceedings. Yeah, we'd uh, entertain if somebody would like to make a motion to suspend the regular order of business. I'll make a motion to suspend the regular order of business. Second. From Mr. Heil and second by Ms. Gundrum. Uh, questions or comments? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, that's unanimous. We, uh, regular business is suspended, thank you. Uh, we need a, a vote to start the zoning? No. Okay, no, thanks. Thank you, Mr. President. This is going to be uh, a hearing this evening pursuant to the municipality's planning code as well as the borough code uh, for the a text amendment of an ordinance of the borough of Bridgeport section 560-24 B as in boy 1B table of permitted uses primarily non-residential districts. C1 is the proof of publication of the amendment and the notice itself. C2 is the proposed ordinance amendment showing the change in permitted uses in the neighborhood commercial district. And C3 is the letter dated March 13th, 2023 from Matt Lubitz, who was a Montgomery County planner uh, to the borough of Bridgeport. At this time, I'd ask Mr. Woyden if he has any testimony he wants to give briefly about this proposed amendment. I do not, Mr. Pella. I would ask Mr. Truman the same question. Uh, only that, Solicitor Bellow, I, to, uh, to reiterate what... Uh, uh, to reiterate the support that uh, the Planning Commission uh, put forth in their letter, uh, I think this is a, a, a beneficial amendment that will help us uh, steer the uh, future commercial development within our uh, neighborhood commercial zoning district, which comprises the majority of our commercial corridor. Does anyone from council have any additional comments they'd like to give? I've been in a lot of the meetings on this. I want to just thank uh, Councilman Shank and Councilwoman Gundrum, as well as Steve Wanzik, Keith Truman, Roger from Gannett Fleming, and Matt, um, uh, who are part of that committee to talk about it. Again, as Mr. Truman stated, this is really to uh, encourage the proper business development in the right zones in our district so that we can move housing to the right places in the borough as well, um, really make a hub for business, whether it's food or other kinds of business to the right places uh, so it's not going to be intrusive on other parts of residents. Uh, it's going to make the town more walkable and it is a vision for the growth of the borough, knowing where housing is going to be, where people are going to be living, the kind of types of people that will be coming here who are expecting a more walkable town 
and uh, we hope that this will help make Bridgeport a destination for uh, homeowners and for businesses. Anyone else from council? Anyone in the audience that wishes to speak in support of this application? Anyone who wants to speak in opposition to this amendment? For the record, there's no response. Uh, I would move for the admission of C1 through C3. Does anybody have an objection to the admission of those exhibits? For the record, there's, there is no objection. Does anyone have any questions or any comments they'd like to make from the microphone? Hearing none, uh, we can proceed to close the hearing, or have the vote and close the hearing. So we'd be having a, uh, <clears throat> we'd be looking for a vote to adopt the zoning change. The amended zoning ordinance. I'll make a motion to adopt the amended zoning ordinance. I'll second. The motion is for Mr. Heil, seconded by Mr. Fee, to adopt the amended zoning ordinance as we've discussed. Uh, questions from council or from the public before the vote? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That's unanimous, thank you. And uh, I guess now we will be looking for a vote to resume regular business? Conclude the hearing. Conclude the hearing. Uh, a vote to conclude the hearing is what we'd be looking for. Make the motion. I'll second that motion. The motion is from Ms. Alzed, seconded by uh, Ms. Nolan, to go ahead and close this hearing. Questions or comments from the council or the public before we do? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right, the zoning hearing is concluded. Thank you. And now we'd be looking for a motion to resume our regular order of business for the evening. I'll make the motion to resume regular order. Second. Motion is from Mr. Heil, seconded by Ms. Gundrum. Uh, questions or comments from the council or the public before we resume our regular agenda? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right, then we are back in business. Thank you. All right, very good, thank you all. Uh, moving forward to unfinished business. So are there any items of unfinished business that uh, any members of council wish to discuss this evening? Mr. Truman, can I just thank Mr. Manjardi, who's our reporter this evening, uh, class of 1982, inside linebacker, good player, Bishop Kendrick High School. means we know Sal's too, so it's all right. <laughs> yes, thank you, Mr. Mangiardi. We appreciate you coming out as always. All right, seeing no unfinished business, we can proceed to committee reports. Are there any committee reports to share? I guess I'll start. Um, the events committee met on Monday, March the 6th. A uh, couple things we discussed included movie nights, uh, which will be starting up this May, going through October, taking movie suggestions, if anyone has any. Um, and also the carnival will be taking place again um, in June from the 20th to the 24th, so we look forward to welcoming everyone there. Um, if anyone is interested in taking part of Community Events Committee, um, I encourage them to come out. Our next meeting will be next month, May the 9th. It's a Monday at 6.30 right here in Borough Hall. Thanks. Thank you, Councilwoman High. Any other reports? All right. Seeing none, we can proceed to the mayor's report. Mayor Jack Sear. Thank you. I just got a few things this evening. I wanted to thank everyone who came out for Founders Day. All of the vendors, uh, the committee who helped put it together was really crucial into making it such a great day. Uh, I know it was a bit windy, so it just makes it more impressive how many people showed up. So thank you again. Um, just want to let everyone know that my next office hours are going to be on Saturday, March 18th from 10 to 11.30 a.m. in my office, which is downstairs in Borough Hall. And finally, uh, now that Founders Day is over, we have a new thing to look forward to. Uh, Going to be hosting a pet fair on Saturday, April 15th from 1 to 3 p.m. in the Borough Hall parking lot. So it's uh, going to be exciting, and there will be more details to come. So that is all I have. Thank you. 
All right, thank you, Mayor Jack Sear. Moving on to the Chief's report, Chief Beretta. Good evening, everyone. Um, so uh, wanted to thank uh, the Borough Council for their insight, uh, the mayor, um, for some of the, uh, the capital projects we've been working on to, t to push us forward. Our license plate reader uh, project, Borough Wide, is uh, they already started rewiring, so that's gonna be a whole new thing for Bridgeport. We're gonna be proactive, not reactive. So that's excellent. Our new vehicle, 54-2, um, uh, that just got lettered. Um, it's going for upfit and should be in service within about uh, 10 days to two weeks. So thank you again. Um, that'll bring our, our, uh, our fleet uh, up to speed. So thank you. Uh, some of the more, more recent criminal investigations, we've had a couple domestic assaults. Um, we've had a, we have a, uh, a larger internal fraud that's under investigation. Package thefts um, still, um, so I advise people, you know, if you can have somebody pick up your packages or have it delivered to a neighbor or somebody you knows going to be home, think ahead. A lot of times you have tracking, so think about that um, to to keep yourself from uh, becoming the victim. Along with that, there was the felony lane gang. I uh, spoke about it before. They're still in the region, um, and I think there was uh, maybe some um, confusion about what the felony lane gang is. That's actually just uh, people out of the region that come into the region, go to parks. The Riverside, you got to worry about that. Um, uh, child care centers, church parking lots, and what they do is they break into your car. If they see things of value, purses, they steal your identification and credit cards and a checkbook. Then they use wigs. They go to the outside lane of the bank. That's where that's what we call the felony lane gang. So that's what it means. And then they don a wig to look slightly like your persona and try to cash your check, or they use your other banking information, and they make counterfeit checks. So it's pretty in, um, ingenious. Uh, for the for the longest period of time, they used to be out of Florida, and they would come up here in force, and we'd, uh, we'd end up arresting them. So just protect your valuables. If there's anything of apparent value, do not leave it out. Do not leave your purses, wallets, or whatever. Uh, whether you go to the gym, same thing. Do not leave your stuff in apparent value in your car. If you're going to leave it, my suggestion is to lock it in your trunk. Don't put it into an easily accessible... Uh, gym locker that might not be secured. There's people uh, that will go to local, those local uh, parking lots as well. Just in the last two weeks, they'll watch people leave their cars. They'll look in there. They'll go into the lot, into the gyms, and they'll surveil who leaves the locker room so that they can go to your lock. They have a pair of cutters, and they'll just cut your lock and take your ID, and they know they have an hour and a half. So, not to make people frightened, but that's really what the felony lane gang is. Um, they're usually not from the region, and they don't go back usually to people's uh, to people's houses. But um, be aware of that. Uh, just, we just want to thank uh, a former part-time officer, Trevor Neckel. Uh, Trevor with, was with us for uh, about a year, year and a half. Um, he did tremendous work for the people and citizens of Bridgeport. He is now a police officer in the borough of Norristown. So I just heard him on the radio today. So many thanks to Trevor for the valuable service that he gave us. Um, that's all I have for you tonight. All right, thank you, Chief. Moving on to new business. Are there any items of new business to discuss this evening? Seeing none, we can proceed to open forum and announcements. Are there any announcements this evening above and beyond the, uh, the pending pet fair? Um, I have an announcement uh, for the Bridgeport Little League. Uh, they are having a cleanup day and a general volunteer meeting on Saturday, March the 25th from 9 a.m. to noon. Uh, they're looking for some people to come uh, help help and clean up the field um, and prepare for opening day, which will be on April 15th. Uh, coffee and donuts will be served, so I encourage people to come out for that. All right, thank you very much. Any other announcements? Okay, very good. Uh, seeing none, we can proceed to public comment. Are there any members of the public that wish to come forward and speak? Uh, please uh, come forward. And uh, state when, uh, when you do so, state your name and, and, and address in the uh, microphone, please.
please do. I, I'd appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Uh, good evening. My name is Eric Chung. I'm a resident of Upper Marion Township, but a parent of an Upper Marion High School rower. Uh, as you may recall, in years past, there's been an Upper Marion uh, regatta, a rowing regatta uh, for going back decades, but apparently it, it's not happened for the last five years because in 2019, thing I was it was canceled because of high water, and of course since then we've had uh, COVID to deal with. So uh, we're going to try to resuscitate this event. Uh, on April 29th. It would be a small event uh, with an, a number of high schools. But I just, uh, not having done this before, I just wanted to ask um, whether the borough of Bridgeport needs any information or has any requirements of us. I believe the event itself takes place on Upper Marion property, although where the property lines and Line township lines are down there. I'm not entirely sure, but I know that um, uh, Bridgeport Borough has in the past been very helpful to us, and we very much appreciate um, your support, uh, moral and with uh, law enforcement and traffic and, and everything. So if there's anything that we need to do to, um, to facilitate that or um, prevent any kind of um, disruptions or anything to the borough, would, um, I would love to, f to find out. Maybe I could I don't, meet the mayor on Saturday or something or, or, or somebody. And let me I, I think there were a few items that we typically did talk about, Keith. I'm sure you, you know the deal. I, know, I, I think parking and trailer parking down around our borough park is probably one of them. Um, Keith, do you have a, a few items, probably? Yeah, I mean, there's there's a there's there's a handful of items that we would, you know, presumably the the thing the same items that we ask that the King's Head Regatta abide by, we would ask you you guys to abide by as well. Um, they're certainly not uh, um, Herculean efforts. Uh, if if you could, right after the meeting, uh, I'll, I'll give you my card. We can we can talk and. Uh, maybe I'll, I can I can help you formulate the request letter, and and I'm sure I don't want to speak for council, but I can only assume that we want to be you know continue to be good neighbors and, and helpful however we can. So, uh, yeah, we can we can work out the details shortly hereafter. If there's anything we need to vote on, we'll get it on the agenda at the next meeting. Okay, and thank you very much. And by the way, thank you for coming out and speaking with us. Sometimes uh, folks forget to do it, and then there's a uh, last minute scramble. I appreciate you coming out. All right, thank you, sir. Uh, any other comments this evening? All right, very good. Seeing none, council could certainly motion, entertain a motion to adjourn. A motion to adjourn. Second. All right, everybody, it's 7.50. We are adjourned. Thank you very much for coming out. Have a great night.